Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be a full face of PR makeup. I just recently filmed a PR haul. If you guys haven't seen that yet, I will link it down below for you. But we have a ton of new stuff to try out today. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And let's go ahead and get started. I will have all of the products that I'm using today linked in the description box in case you guys are interested in checking any of them out. For primer, I'm going in with the Revlon Photo Ready Rose Glow Hydrating and illuminating primer that sounds fantastic I love the packaging on this primer I think it is so cute it's a little dropper how do I open this so it says apply a few drops to your hands rub together to melt oil beads then apply to your face for illuminated skin where alone or under any cream liquid or powder foundation so I am going to apply like I don't know oh boy that was a lot <laughs> That was a lot more than a few drops, but it's fine. So I'm going to rub that together and apply it to my skin. Ooh, that smells really good. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells really nice. It feels very hydrating. It honestly feels kind of like a hyaluronic acid serum. I don't know that there's any hyaluronic acid in here, but that's just kind of the vibe that I'm getting. It definitely gives your skin a beautiful glow. It does have shimmer in it, so I can see like a little bit of gold shimmer on my skin. It feels nice and hydrated. There's a little bit of a tackiness, and honestly, so far, I really like it. For foundation, we are testing out the brand new Morphe Glow Stunner Hydrating Tinted Moisturizer. I am so excited about this. I have to figure out what shade I am, but Morphe sent over the coolest PR package ever. They sent over their entire shade range. It was a huge package, and... Thank you so much, Marfi, for sending that over. Thank you to all of the brands who sent me PR that is featured in today's video. So I have to figure out what shade I am. I'm immediately thinking Light Glow 3. So let's see how this shade looks. So it comes in a tube with a pump, which I love packaging like this. Um, here is what it looks like. This is a sheer tinted moisturizer, I feel like. That looks pretty good. It might be like a little bit light, but I think we'll go with it. I think we'll try out shade three. I'm gonna be applying this with my diamond sponge from my Page Horn and Bling Brushes collaboration sponge trio. I will have Bling Brushes linked down below. I'm also going to be using a fresh set. There's nothing like using a fresh set of brushes. Um, so anyway, let's see how this shade looks. I did want to kind of read you guys the key points of this product so it is spf 30 it has hyaluronic acid in it and it also has ahas in it i think it has lactic acid which gives you a nice like refined brightened skin texture which i mean i love the fact that there's like skincare and makeup products now like it's like a two-in-one it's absolutely fantastic that shade actually looks perfect like literally perfect the tinted moisturizer releases on the Morphe website on July 8th, so mark your calendars, and of course, now you guys can use code PAGE for 10% off. So freaking cool. I cannot believe that I have a code with Morphe, and I actually had my lovely friend Dan send me a picture of his receipt. He went shopping in store, and he used code PAGE, and I freaked out. <laughs> I was like, that's my name on the receipt. It does say it has sheer buildable coverage, which I definitely would say say it is a light coverage but it is covering up my redness and evening out my skin tone which is the most important part for me honestly I don't mind having a lighter coverage foundation as long as it evens out my skin tone and covers up some of my redness because I do have very acne prone skin and I get a lot of redness I have far from perfect skin um, but I don't mind like showing that <laughs> so um, as long as I can get a little bit of something out of a foundation I approve that tinted moisturizer it looks so natural it just looks like my skin like it looks like all I have on is like maybe some sunscreen because of that nice glow <laughs> that we've got but holy crap I don't see any product and it definitely did a really good job at covering up my redness I am going to try to see if I can build it up a little bit like on my cheeks and forehead area which is where I have my trouble areas so we'll see how buildable it is I definitely did get a little bit of extra coverage when applying more product and honestly 
so far i love it i think this is perfect for summer because of course it has spf but also it's literally undetectable on your skin and it just makes it look better so so far i think this is awesome it's thundering <laughs> sorry if you hear the thunder anyway moving on to concealer i actually didn't receive a concealer in pr in my last pr haul so i'm gonna go ahead and use the laura mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. This is one that I've received in PR in the past. So I did fill in the gaps a little bit with other PR products that I had received previously since I didn't get a full, full face of makeup in my last PR haul, but we still have a full face of free makeup. <laughs> this is in the shade 1N, by the way. I'm just gonna focus it on my under eye area because I kind of like the way the rest of my base is looking so far. I have used this concealer before, but I feel like every time I use it, I forget like my thoughts on it. So um, we'll see how this looks. I feel like, ooh, definitely has a good amount of coverage, but it doesn't seem too thick or cakey. Definitely very brightening as well. So today, I curled my hair and I thought I would switch things up and use my wand like my curling wand that I got when I was like in eighth grade because like that was all the rage back then um and it looked horrible <laughs> like it looked so bad I don't know what was going on my hair like was like this short and the curls were way too tight so um I ended up just thrown it in a bun after spending all that time curling my hair don't you just love that so there's my little <laughs> curl fluked bun <laughs> oh man that was rough anyway uh we're looking very dewy very shiny very summery very glowy but we're just gonna take that down a little notch with some laura mercier translucent loose setting powder i also did not receive this in my most recent pr haul but I've actually purchased this product and received it in PR, so we're still gonna count it. So I'm just gonna take my sponge and set my under eye area. I'm gonna, mm, I don't know. It, it's gonna be a lot of powder because my under eye area, I think its favorite thing to do is crease. Like that's just its favorite activity. So we gotta set powder down, quite a bit of powder to prevent that from happening. So I usually go heavy with the under eye setting powder and more recently I have been just doing a light dusting of the rest of my skin because I actually noticed my skin has been a lot more normal recently and um, I don't know why. It's been for like probably like six months now. Um, I've noticed that my skin is more normal instead of oily because I used to be super oily. So I think that like a lighter dusting of powder just kind of looks a little better a little more natural and if i don't need the extra powder then like why use it to set the rest of my face we are going in with the f21 this is my powder brush you can use code page for 10 percent off of blinged brushes we just restocked these brushes i think last week yeah last week we just restocked them so they are available check them out the link will be down below i'm just gonna take some of this powder and dust it over the rest of my skin if you don't daily use powder then like obviously you don't have to do this but i know that my makeup will probably melt off if i don't go in with at least a little bit of powder so it is starting to rain so i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to hear that but I'm guessing you will because the rain is like hitting my window. Um, but if I was going to say like the beach or if I was gonna be like outside all day, I would just apply that Morphe product like as my sunscreen and just wear that alone, I wouldn't set it because then I would most likely reapply throughout the day, especially at the beach. Like I think this would be perfect and you literally wouldn't need to set it with a powder. It's not overly greasy or anything, just nice and glowy. So. We did kind of reduce the glow, but no worries, we're gonna bring it back. <laughs> but first, for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with this palette here from Pixie. I closed my blinds hoping that that might reduce the sound, but I don't think that that's gonna happen. So here we have the Pixie and Promise palette. This is a collaboration. This is called the Shapeshifter palette, and it looks like we have a bunch of like bronzer shades, some like highlighty powders and then some actual like glowy highlighters 
So I think I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which I believe is called, I don't know how to pronounce it actually, so I'm not gonna try. But this one right here, I think this is like the lightest bronzer shade that isn't super cool toned. So I'm gonna go in with my F23, which is this brush here. It's like a multi-purpose powder brush, so it's skinnier this way than it is this way, and it's perfect for getting in those cheekbones and the perimeter of your face. So um, I'm just gonna tap into that bronzer, and I am going to tap this on the back of my hand just to make sure that it's not gonna be like insanely pigmented, and that also helps keep the brush uh, evenly coated. This shade is like actually not really like showing up that well. Also, the pan, are you kidding me? Do you see how much kick up is in there? All right, let's see how this looks. Oh, it definitely shows up on my face. That's weird how it wasn't really showing up on the back of my hand. That is a very warm toned shade. Probably a little bit more warm toned than I'm used to. I'm kind of doing a look that's like summer vibes and like in the sun like having a nice beach day and then outside it's like looks like a freaking hurricane okay so the bronzer isn't my favorite it's kind of hard to blend um it also looks kind of patchy so um i'm not really sure <laughs> how i feel about the bronzer i feel like my my skin looks really like muddy so um yeah i'll definitely have to keep trying that but definitely not my favorite bronzer um for blush i have this palette here from benefit i'm so excited because this is the earth angel palette and they have three different palettes like this and each of them has an exclusive shade so the exclusive shade here is this blush which is called honeymoon and i am so excited to apply this to my cheeks it looks so pretty so let's see how pigmented she is Ooh, she's definitely got some pigment that looks really pretty i love the color it's like a pink but it's not a super cool tones pink to where it looks like you know blue pink it's still almost like a peachy coral but it's definitely pink if you know what i'm saying this color is so pretty it looks almost like a sunburn <laughs> like your cute sunburn cheeks that's kind of the color that I see. Okay, things are kind of looking a little bit better. For brows, I'm just gonna go in with my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and 24 Hour Brow Setter. They did send me this duo in my most recent PR haul, but these are not those exact products. These are like the ones that I already have open. Um, but since they sent them to me, I figured I would use them. I hate Thunder, that scared me. So bad oh my god how do you guys feel about thunder I feel like low like rumbling thunder can be relaxing especially like on a on a day in you know when you're just like chilling like not really like doing anything um, but like loud scary thunder like that that is unexpected I am NOT a fan of and lucky for me I live in Florida where it's sunny every day but it also rains every day of the summer I feel like you guys have seen me do my brows a million times especially with these products so I didn't really like explain what I was doing but basically I just fill in the tails of my brows and kind of like try to even them out to each other and then I just like to go in with some clear brow gel and set everything in place now it's time for eyeshadow and we are going in with the flower punk palette from kaleidos i am so excited for this the packaging is so cool the top just like slides off so here's what the palette looks like you have a mirror on this side i think i'm gonna do like these like pinky colors along with these like green but also kind of like seafoam green shades I feel like pink and green we're, we're gonna go for a pink and green vibe and then these like yellowy colors will look, make an eye look like on their own like these four shades here that would be so beautiful but i'm feeling more like pastel so that's what we're gonna go for i definitely won't be able to pronounce all of these shades but i'm gonna start by going into this matte peach color and i think let me think about this okay so i want actually i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna start with mint fever which is a, the matte mint shade and i'm gonna put this on the inner part of my crease oh that looks pigmented 
I didn't prime my eyes, um, so we're just gonna see how this plays on top of like concealer foundation leftovers. Um, the, a lot of product picks up on the brush, so definitely tap it off because I can see these shadows being very messy. I love the Kaleidos eyeshadow formula. The mattes are so pigmented and the shimmers are incredible. I have so many Kaleidos palettes. This one, I think the color story is so fun and unique, and I think the theming of it all is really nice. So I'm thinking like mint green on the inner portion and then the pinks on the outer portion of my eye. We'll see how it goes. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you may know that I recently started reading, <laughs> like as a hobby, I guess. I've only read one book, so I don't know if I can call it a hobby yet, but um, I read the book Verity just for fun. Um, it is called, it's called Verity, but it's by Colleen Hoover. And I've been posting on it on Instagram. So many of you guys say that you also love Colleen Hoover's books and you love Verity. Um, so I asked for some recommendations. So I ordered two new books. One is supposed to get here today. I think it's called, it ends with us or something. I don't know. It's another Colleen Hoover book. It has like pink flowers on it or something. Um, and then I also ordered Beach Read, which I got yesterday. I read the first chapter and it's definitely a totally different pace. It's by a different author, but totally different vibe than Verity so far, but I'm really liking it. So um, if you guys have any book recommendations, let me know down below. Also, I have been, I'm going to go in with the matte pink shade now, the peachy color. Um, I've also been watching Teen Wolf and loving it. So we, I, I say we. My friend Kristen and I are like watching it together, but like from states away, but we like sit down at night and we'll like watch the shows at the same time and like text during the show. It's like, oh my gosh, can you believe that just happened? Like what? Um, but she's already seen the show, I think a couple times. I haven't seen it, but we are on season three and it is so freaking good. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm also... I was doing the same thing with her with Vampire Diaries and I think we got to season four and then we like paused to watch Teen Wolf. So um, yeah, I'm like kind of in the middle of both, but I am loving Teen Wolf. I love Styles. He's my favorite character. Um, I also love Lydia. So let me know if you guys are Teen Wolf fans or Vampire Diaries fans or like both. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments, but please, please, no spoilers, please. <laughs> I'm begging you. I'm also going to bring that pink color down onto my lid here just so that it fills out the outer corner. Now I'm going to take an E25, which is a flat shader brush, and I'm going to start by going into Aloe Cove, which is this metallic mint color, and I'm going to put this on the inner part of my lid. Oh my god, that is so beautiful. Look at that shimmer. That is stunning. And honestly, I'm not even getting that much fallout. Like, I have like itty bitty tiny itty bitty flex of fallout from that shade. I didn't get any fallout from the matte shades, um, but so far, loving this palette. So I took that about halfway. Now I'm going to find another one of those brushes. This one isn't necessarily clean clean, but <laughs> I, this thing right here saves me. I bought this, I, uh, oh, this is the actual brand. Um, I bought this at the Morphe store, but you can find this brand, it's called a color switch. You can find, not this brand, but like similar things, I think, at the dollar store, and you just kind of rub your bristles in there and it knocks off the excess powder. So it may look dirty, but like if you were to wipe it on your hand, like nothing's gonna come off. So it's just like a quick, like, in between washes kind of trick. So now I'm gonna go in with stained glass, which is this shimmery shade here. It looks kind of like um, a pink with a green shift to it. So I thought this would look really cool next to Aloe Cove. So we're gonna put that kind of in the outer portion of our lid. I'm also gonna kind of blend that over onto the middle, just so that it's like a transition between the two. It definitely has some duochrome to it, and it looks really cool blended into Aloe Cove. And then finally, I'm just gonna take the shade Nouveau, which is this like deeper kind of plummy shade, and I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of that 
and just stamp it in this outer corner just to deepen things up and blend that into the surrounding shades. Then taking a clean brush, I'm just gonna buff out the edges just to make sure everything is nice and smooth. I'm gonna take a little bit more of Nouveau on this angled brush and I'm just going to rub that along my lower lash line. I'm gonna focus it on the outer corner and then I'm just gonna buff that out with a fluffy brush. I do see some fallout and it definitely will wipe away. You just have to kind of give it a little flick. <laughs> it's from the shimmery shades, but it's nothing too bad. So far, I think the eyes look so good. I am loving that. So for highlighter now, we're going to go in with this Laura Mercier highlighting powder. It's in the shade Rose Gold. This is part of their new Rose Glow collection. Oh no, it's in the shade Rose Glow. My bad. And I'm going to take this itty bitty little blending brush. This is the E22. And I'm going to swirl my brush in that powder and then just tap that on the inner corner. I love using this brush as my inner corner highlights. I think it just fits in there so well and I like using the same highlighter on my eyes as I do my face just because I feel like it keeps the look cohesive. I'm also going to add a little bit of that on my brow bone. And then going in with the highlighter brush, this is the F25 best brush in the entire world. I'm going to apply that highlighter. Oh my god, that is so pretty. There's that glow that we were missing. <laughs> no joke though, next time I go to the beach, I'm going to bring that morphe product with me the glow center hydrating tinted moisturizer and i'm just gonna use this all day for mascara i'm gonna go in with the revlon so fierce big bad lash mascara they actually just sent me one of these in my previous pr haul but this one is an older one that they sent me i love this mascara it is so good it makes my lashes look awesome so I highly, highly recommend this mascara. And then finally for lips, I have these glosses here from Buxom. These are, they're full on pumping lip creams, but what collection is this? I don't know what the collection is called. It might be called their like Tiki Bar collection. That's the name of the palette that these came with. So I'm just gonna go in with, ooh, Dolly Jackery. That color looks fantastic. Let's see how this looks with the eye look. Ooh, the packaging is so cute. Oh, that's perfect. That's literally perfect. I love Buxom's gloss formula. Mmm, this color is so pretty. <gasps> I love it. I'm already starting to feel like the mintiness. <laughs> so to finish things off, we're just going to go in with some setting spray. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Rose Glow Mist. It says prep, hydrate, and refresh. So I figured we could use this just to kind of give a little bit of extra glow to the skin and finish things off. It's not necessarily marketed as a setting spray, I don't think. Um, but you could use it as like a primer spray and a refreshment throughout the day. It looks like it's like a dual phase kind of product. So there's like two levels of liquid. So I guess make sure you shake it up well. Let's see how the spray, ooh, that's a nice fine mist. That feels so good. I'm just going to let that dry and then I will be right back for final thoughts. All right, guys. So I kind of messed up <laughs> that setting spray. <laughs> Holy crap. Talk about glow. So I can feel on my fingers, like from the setting spray that settled down onto my desk and my mirror, that there's definitely oil in the setting spray, which makes sense why there was like two different like levels of liquid um and i sprayed a lot so um if i were to use that again which i'm sure i will um i would say like one or two sprays is going to be sufficient because i feel all like oily and greasy in my skin <laughs> i look like i've been sweating all day long and i'm like not even hot right now so um i'm just gonna take my sponge and see if I can kind of calm that down a little bit um but yeah I just thought I would address that first since my skin looks very shiny and oily now if you're looking for a glow that is definitely a glowy <laughs> setting 
spray. If you have dry skin, I feel like this would probably like really hydrate your skin nicely. Um, but the bottle feels all like oily now, so something to keep in mind. Um, so overall, I think the makeup looks really nice and natural. Well, <laughs> my skin looks pretty nice. Um, my eye look also looks nice, but like doesn't look natural at all. Um, but overall, I really like the way that it turned out. So um, the primer, I think, was really nice. It does have some actual shimmer in it. What the heck? My neck like is right here i feel like i just got a mosquito bite or something um the primer does have shimmer in it so keep that in mind it is a hydrating shimmer or primer oh my gosh i'm like tripping over my words now it's the rose glow hydrating and illuminating primer so if you don't like that then you won't like that but if you like hydrating and illuminating primers i think it was really nice it really gave my skin like a good little boost of hydration and glow the morphe glow stunner hydrating tinted moisturizer i think this is this is one of my like top three favorite products from today's video I would say um, absolutely fantastic the shade ended up working out really well they do have sheer to buildable coverage so the you know shade it doesn't have to be an exact match for it to work for you because it's not so full coverage but I think shade three was perfect for me um, overall this is freaking awesome I oh hello <laughs> I really like that. Um, the concealer and powder weren't new. Um, neither were the brows. The bronzer, honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of the bronzer from this palette. I was really excited for this, but I don't know. I just feel like the color doesn't look quite right on me. It looks a little bit muddy and like patchy, and it was kind of hard to blend. I will continue to try it out though and see if my thoughts change on that. Um, the blush, absolutely stunning. I love this palette. I think it's so cute. You also get Hoola, which is a fantastic bronzer. And then you get the blush in Georgia and then the cookie highlighter. Like, this is awesome. I love this palette. Um, the highlighter was stunning. The eyeshadow palette, honestly, is so beautiful. I think the color story is so unique and fun. Um, I'm excited to do some more looks with this palette. The mascara I already knew I loved. Um, <laughs> the setting spray I'm a little bit scared of <laughs> now because I kind of like, uh, I don't know. I just look so greasy. Like, mm, it was looking a lot better before I sprayed that. And then the lip gloss. Again, one of my favorite things from this video. I would say my top three things are the Morphe Tinted Moisturizer that I dropped, the Buxom Lip Gloss in Dolly Zachary, and the eyeshadow palette. Those are my top three like new things from this video. Um, but overall, I liked almost everything besides the bronzer and the setting spray just wasn't what I was expecting it but now that I know that it's like this I might just do like literally one maybe two sprays of it and I think that would look so much better so that was today's video I hope you all enjoyed if you did please don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up like I said all of the products will be linked down below and yeah that is pretty much it I love you all so so much I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one bye